which is pretty easy to use and I'll definitely walk you through it by the end of this video where you can see how you can schedule your advertising budget throughout the day thereby utilizing the budget efficiently, effectively and thereby saving a lot of time and a lot of headaches while managing and ensuring that you reach the maximum audience for the highest conversions. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another amazing Seller App video. Uh, today I'm super excited to talk to you about one of the latest launches on the Seller App platform. We've recently launched the Day Parting feature, which is an amazing additional feature on our already amazing advertising suit. So uh, let's get to discuss about what is it that we do in this, uh, what is Day Parting basically, we'll start off with that, move on to the features of Day Parting and then I'll walk you through how exactly to set up the day party automation rule on the platform and ease your life uh, with advertising on Amazon, right? So uh, what is Seller App's day party feature? So um, before we getting on to what Seller App day party is, I'd like to give you a little bit of a background about why we came up with this uh, feature in the first place. So we did an internal research based on a lot of feedback that we've gotten from our clients and from our partners, uh, where one of the most common challenges that they say they face on Amazon advertising is to efficiently manage their advertising budget and uh, there's a lot of challenges in terms of the budget getting utilized in the beginning of the day and not able to target the audiences at the later parts of the day and that's where uh, the need for sh a scheduler for, ad ad for managing the advertising budget came up and after a lot of research and a lot of deep diving and discussions here at the cell wrap team finally came up with this amazing feature which is pretty easy to use and I'll definitely walk you through it by the end of this video where you can see how you can schedule your advertising budget throughout the day thereby utilizing the budget efficiently, effectively and thereby saving a lot of time and a lot of headaches while managing and ensuring that you reach the maximum audience for the highest conversions. Now, a couple of features that we've uh, created within the platform is uh, or maybe, you know, before we get into the feature part of it, I'd like to talk to you about what is this day parting. So it's basically a, sim a simple explanation would be that it is a scheduler of sorts, which will help you um, split and manage your advertising budget throughout the day. So you can basically target your campaigns and ensure your campaigns are running at different times of the day by splitting this budget. It could be at an account level or it could be at a campaign level. Now, a couple of features that we have within the platform is that you do not have to worry about the geography you're in. Wherever the seller app platform is already live and wherever all the geos that we support right now can be capitalized and you can leverage that feature, the, leverage the fact that we are present in multiple geos and we support these multiple geographies. So all the geographies that seller app platform supports, you can create these automation features for setting up your day parting rules. Second most important feature is uh, you don't have to worry about identifying and understanding what time zone you are in. You could be in a different time zone and you're, uh, you, are, you, you probably could be a global seller having different marketplaces and different uh, marketplaces being set up in different geos. So setting up the rule on day parting automatically works with the marketplace that your, market, that your uh, account is currently synced in with the seller central. So let's say you're a seller based out of the UK and you have an account in the US. All you have to do is set up the day parting for the US marketplace and automatically the time zones will automatically run in accordance with the time zone that your account is synced with. That's, that kind of makes life a lot more easier when you're scheduling these day parting rules. The third part is when you're creating the day parting rules at an account level, it runs only on your sponsored, uh, sponsored product campaigns, very similar to the account level uh, budget cap that you set up in the seller central. The fourth most important feature, and I think this is uh, a kind of an add-on, I think I can, uh, if I may add that, right? So it's kind of an add-on to the existing feature where uh, when setting up the campaign level budget day parting to the platform, whereby you can uh, set up day parting, obviously for the display campaigns as well. Uh, now that we've spoken about what the day parting feature is and what are the features of uh, day parting, I will straight away take you through and explain how you can create these day parting rules on the platform and then um, and you know, we can probably end it up uh, at the end of it, right? So moving on to the platform. So uh, the first thing that you do after logging on to the platform is to navigate to the advertising section of a platform and then move on to the automation module. Now within the automation module, you have this automation blueprint where the budget departing is uh, nestled within the budget management section. 
So here you click on the blank day parting rule. Now this is where we start off the journey of setting up the day parting rules. Uh, the first thing that we encourage our users to do is to give your individual day parting rules uh, a nomenclature which will help you identify what the rule is about if, in case you're creating different rules for different campaigns. Uh, the second, uh, once you're done with the mentioning the rule, uh, we go on to the first step of setting up this day parting which is to uh, to first select whether you would like to create an account level day parting or a campaign level day parting. When you select an account level, the account level budget is set up which will then be applicable to all your sponsored product campaigns. Uh, alternatively, you can select the campaign level budget where it will open up two new feeds, two uh, extra features where you can either set up the, set it up for all the active campaigns uh, which again is limited to sponsored products and sponsored brand campaigns right now or alternatively you can select the campaigns manually or you can select individual campaigns manually for which you want to set up the departing role. Uh, then you click on the next button which will take you to the next step of uh, setting this up. Here you give the uh, start date and the end date for which for uh, when you would like this campaign, uh, you would like to see this tool active and then you give, you mention the overall account budget that you would like to set it up. So I'd like to, I'd like to put it at $600 right now, just as an example, and then move on. Um, so this is the third step and this is the most crucial step and obviously the most exciting part of here where you can split that $600 account level budget into different slots in the day. So I'd like to split that up into four different time, time zones or I wouldn't call it time zones, but then four different times of the day. Uh, I would like to split it up as $50, $100, uh, probably $250 and then uh, $600. So the way I'm splitting this up is, uh, it's a very simple example and I'm setting up over here where I'm splitting up the $600 budget for four different times of the day. Uh, so I'm, I start off at 12 o'clock at midnight where I'd like to keep some budget open for those midnight late night shoppers. Uh, then I'd like to change this budget to $100 at 6 o'clock. Uh, then I would like to change that to $250 at 12 the noon and then I know based on assuming that I have a historic data where I get maximum sales at the end of the day, I like to keep my ad campaigns active with a much larger budget at uh, at six o'clock, from six o'clock in the evening to basically the midnight. Now, one thing you need to remember is that the budget you have provided over here is an absolute budget which will be set for that particular hour. And it is not an increment or a decrement over your previous hour's budget. What this basically means is that when you put, when you set this up to $100, it does not add up previous $50 or it does not increase it uh, over and above $50, but it overrides the budget that has been set up in the previous hour. Uh, the other functionality over here for more advanced users would be to, uh, you know, th this is the next step where basically it makes it easier. Uh, there are more features within the advanced setting. When you click on the advanced setting, this is for basically a little more mature sellers who would want to uh, kind of split the budget a little more uh, granularly. Now, this is something that will be helpful for those who already analyzed their historic sales patterns and understood that, you know, there are, fair, there are specific days in a week where they earn or they make more money on Amazon in comparison to the other day. So here we have the first thing that we would start off with uh, setting up is whether you would like to have the budget control in terms of a percentage or in absolute dollar value and then you can uh, you can also set up these uh, day parting rules on an hourly basis or every three hours every six hours or every 12 hours and you can change that so you have an absolute control in terms of uh, breaking it down every hourly or three hours for six hours or 12 hours and you also have this button over here which when checked up will will divide the mentioned budget of $600 in the previous step equally throughout the day for you. Now, what this particular advanced feature does is it gives you the power to manually change the times of, uh, manually change the budget for different times for in different days of the week. Now, let's say that, you know, uh, for a particular account, you have seen your historic data and you've noticed that you get maximum sales of uh, in a week during the Saturday and the Sunday. You can go back over here, change these numbers manually, or probably reduce the spend throughout the week, and then have an increased budget at, uh, during the during the weekend, which is your Saturday and Sunday, which is your most high conversion period. Now, let us say uh, now the difference between 
uh, this previous set they setting up of day parking why you set it up or you just set up the hours and the advanced setting is that over here you do not have to worry about setting it up for different days of the week this replicates throughout the week so this is a one time activity that you have to do for one day and then this kind of gets replicated for all the days you just set this up for uh, once you finalize this you just set it up and then that kind of brings us basically to the end of it it's just done right now you just click on next click on review and enable and your departing is live and going forward you don't have to worry about or uh, changing the day part changing the budgets for different campaigns all your account uh in amazon advertising and you can focus on the more important aspects of controlling your uh, more important aspects of controlling your bids and strategic activities of looking into your inventory and your product research that kind of brings us to the end of the day parting rule please let me know if there's anything else that you like to know about the day parting or there's some more uh you know videos or content that you like to Hear from us at Celera, and then we'll be more than happy to get those ready for you. So until then, see you and happy selling.